Hi guys, Miss Ainsley here. Today we're doing a fun sensory and science experiment making Elsa's frozen melting castles. So if you or anyone in your family loves the movie Frozen, this is an activity for you. What you'll need is baking soda, a bowl and a spoon to mix, some water, and some glitter, if you want, to make your dough. And that dough is going to go into the sandcastle mold that you were sent in the mail. So, let me show you how to make the dough. I'm going to start with my baking soda because, and I learned this because I made the mistake myself, if you start with the water first and then add the baking soda, you end up with some gross, gloopy mess. And if you add the baking soda first, you can better control the consistency of your sensory dough. Just a little tip. So I'm going to take my baking, baking soda here and I'm going to pour it into my bowl. It doesn't really matter how much because um, if you don't have enough to fill your castle to start with, you can always make more. It took me about three quarters of this big box to fill a large sandcastle mold, which I will show you then. This is a 32 ounce box of baking soda. So it took me about three quarters or maybe two thirds of the way of that box to fill that. I'm just going to be making a little bit of dough today to fill this castle, just to demonstrate the process. I'm not going to fill this mold all the way because that would be a lot of baking soda to waste. <laughs> so, I have my baking soda in here. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Again, this is uh, something that you eyeball. There's not an exact measurement for any of this. So I added a little bit and I'm gonna stir it around. The key here is that you want a dough, but you don't want it to be runny or like slipping through your fingers. You want it to be crumbly. See how it's getting kind of chunky? All right, and let me show you. This is a pretty good consistency because as you can see, it's packable, and that is what you want out of the dough. So this is pretty perfect. It's crumbly, but packable. And now, this is when you can add your glitter if you choose to do so. I'm going to add a little bit of gold and a little bit of pink. This just makes it sparkly and fun. It's a personal choice. And here's my pink. This is the part that really makes it look like a princess castle. And if you had blue glitter, it would look even more like Elsa's. So now you mix your glitter in. And once that's mixed, and you can see the sparkles in there, then you transfer your dough over to your sandcastle mold. Again, this is only gonna fill it a little bit. I just wanted to show you the correct consistency for the dough. Okay, we got most of it out there. And then what you want to do, see, it only filled it a little bit of the way, so I definitely have to make more. But what you want to do is just pack it in there, and I used the bottom of my spoon to kind of make sure that it's even and pack it into those corners tightly there so that when you pop up, when you pop out the mold later, um, all of those ridges and the parts of the sand castle will stay. So that's what it looks like. Um, and then it would be filled all the way to the top. And I can show you the one that I have that's filled. That's how far I filled it. And then what you want to do with your dough in order to make the experiment work is put it in the freezer. I froze mine overnight, um, but really you're just gonna check on it until it's solid. And then we can get to the part where we melt our castles. Alrighty guys, so a trick to getting your castle out of the mold is to run a little bit of hot water or maybe a paper towel with some hot water on it over the sides so that it slips out easier and has less of a chance of just crumbling into a mess. So I flipped mine. And now we're going to lift the lid. Oh, look, we have a beautiful castle. And you can see all the little glitters in there that we added to make it sparkly and fun. 
I think this is such a cool experiment. Okay, so to melt the castle, which is our science part, we are going to take some vinegar. Because this is baking soda, it's going to have a reaction with the vinegar uh, due to the differences in pH level, which will cause the chemical bubble reaction. So, I'm not really measuring this here, I'm just pouring some in. Just regular white vinegar. It smells a little bit stinky. That can be part of your sensory experience too. And I'm going to use this little scoop. You could use a baster, an eyedropper, a brush, whatever you have, a squeeze bottle, anything to get the vinegar um, over to your castle. Um, but I'm just gonna use this little scoop. So, have some vinegar here and I'm going to add some blue food color just to make it kind of more like frozen. Okay, so I have my white vinegar here. I might need, I might end up needing to grab more, but that's okay. And I'm taking some blue food coloring. Here we go. And just adding like one or two drops to start. I don't want it to be super dark. And I'm going to grab a spoon to mix that and also add a little bit of water just to make the melting process a little faster. A little bit of warm water in there. Okay, so now I have a little bit of warm water that I'm gonna add, just a little splash. And, oh now it definitely smells like vinegar. And now we have our blue liquid that we're going to use to melt our castle. So this is a sensory experience because you and your child can feel the coolness of the castle because it's been frozen in your freezer and the vinegar is going to make it all bubbly and melty and I'm excited to see how this turns out so I'm just going to scoop a little bit here. Okay, ready? Let's count down together. Three, two, one. You better get ready Elsa. Oh guys, do you see those bubbles? Look how cool that is. And I'm doing this in a, a Tupperware container because I didn't want the liquid to go all over the place. But if I touch it now, I can see my dough is starting to disintegrate. It's definitely melting. Um, and it still feels really cold. So it's like cold, squishy dough now. Let's add some more of the vinegar and see if we can melt it even further. And you can hear the chemical reaction too. It's like a bubbly fizz sound, which is another cool part of the sensory experience. All right, what do we think, guys? Should we just go for it and dump the rest on? Ooh, you can even see my glitter down here in the base of the castle. And again, this is a touch experience too, as well as science, so you can totally touch and get your hands in there. It's not going to hurt you since it's just vinegar and baking soda. All right, let's add the rest. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, I can even feel it bubbling up near my hands. It looks really pretty too, which is cool. You could even kind of take your spoon and scrape if you wanted to feel some of the dough. I'm going to keep adding vinegar and I will see you guys in a second once I get this all together. All right, let's go again. Ooh, see it bubbling? That's so cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely cool and squishy. You can definitely tell that it's been frozen. And it melted to about half the size that it was when we originally started. So, this is just a really fun science experiment to kind of explain or even see and hear and touch the chemical reaction that occurs between baking soda and vinegar. 
So I hope you guys enjoy making Elsa's castle and then freezing it like her ice powers and then using science to melt it down. I will see you guys for the next activity.